On November 24th, the 18th EU-Ukraine summit took place in Brussels, Belgium. The European Union was represented by the President of the European Council, Donald Tusk, and the President of the European Commission, Jean-Claude Juncker. President Petro Poroshenko represented Ukraine. The main objective of the Ukrainian delegation was to clarify the exact date of the introduction of visa-free travel for Ukrainian citizens visiting the EU. However, no specific or firm resolutions were accomplished in this matter. At the same time, EU representatives assured Ukraine that by the end of 2016, a specific start date will be in place. President Poroshenko stated firmly that Ukraine has met all of the conditions imposed on it by the EU. At the EU-Ukraine summit, the European Union discussed financial support programs for Ukraine, signing a financing agreement with Ukraine for a 15 million euro program to support the fight against corruption, and confirming a 104 million euro program to reform public administration in Ukraine. Also, a memorandum was signed regarding a strategic energy partnership between the EU and Ukraine. The EU has also promised to release the third tranche of its assistance to Ukraine in the sum of 600 million euros, but on the condition that Ukraine cancel its moratorium on exports of unprocessed timber, a moratorium that goes against the Ukraine-EU Association Agreement. President Poroshenko promised to initiate the cancellation of this ban. The ban had been passed by the Supreme Council of Ukraine in April 2015, in order to halt massive and devastating deforestation in Ukraine, caused by uncontrolled exploitative logging in Soviet and post-Soviet times. Critics of the moratorium claim that it has not achieved the desired results, that in actuality it has neither curbed massive logging nor protected Ukrainian forests. But ecologists insist that lifting the ban on logging will only increase exploitation of forests and exacerbate an existing problem that is already on the verge of being an ecological catastrophe. There is a small but positive ecological development to report from the Odessa region, where Ukrainian ecologists and simple villagers are working together in harmonious coexistence with nature. In the Odessa district, local biologists are using Carpathian water buffaloes to prevent a looming ecological disaster caused by the clogging of waterways in the Danube Delta. In October, a herd of water buffaloes from Transcarpathia arrived in the village of Orliuka on the Danube in southern Ukraine. The hope is that they will improve the flow of the Danube waterways naturally by consuming water plants and clearing out clogged and dehydrated areas. These water buffaloes were brought in by German forester and ecologist Michel Jacobi, who is helping to improve water buffalo numbers in Ukraine and to preserve the Carpathian ecosystem. In general, attempts to promote a symbiotic relationship with nature and an overall focus on preserving the environment for coming generations may prove much more vital for Ukraine's future than some of its broad commercial mega-projects. I'm Tanya Stech, and this was Ukraine in the News. Canal Oden Plus Oden, the part of the Stockholm Nobel International Program.